Good evening. Hello there. Hello, hello. Can you hear me? Yes, teacher. Hello. Hello, teacher. Hello there. Hi, Joanna. Hi, Eugenia. Hi, teacher. Good evening. Good evening. Hi, Johnny, Pablo, Carol. Hello. So we are going to start with our class today. We just have a few students, right? So let me text them so they remember. Just give me a moment. Good evening, Miss. Good evening, how are you today? Fine, thanks. Well, I'm glad to hear that. Now we're gonna just check here. We just have seven students. So I am going to start the class with you guys, right? Honoring that you were on time in today's class. So to start with today's class, I will ask you a few questions, of course, right? About the previous class that we had. Okay, let me put here something for you. Now, here we are all adults, right? Right. So when we are adults, we have some like activities or things that we have to do at some point, right, in our lives. So I want you to think right now, I want you to look at this picture, right? This is a picture that I want you to open it here. I think you can see it now. <laughs> what small picture, this is a small picture, let me see. This small. I think you will see it. Can you see the picture on the screen? Yes, Miss. Yes, Miss. Okay. Yes, very teacher. Well. Very well, very well. So I want you to look at this picture right now and tell me Right? What are your obligations in that day? Right? We are all adults, so I'm pretty sure that you have to do something during that day. Uh, for example, one of my obligations for that day, uh, well, yeah, one of my obligations is that I have to buy all the drinks, right? I have to buy the Coca-Cola, I have to buy juice, I have to buy a alcoholic beverages for everyone, right? So I have to buy those. What I don't have to do is I don't have to prepare the turkey, right? Because my mom has to prepare the cookie, the turkey. She's the, she's the one cooking. What about you? What do you have to do during that day? What's your obligation as an adult in your family or with your friends? Mm -hmm. During Christmas, what do you have to do, Jenny? 
Obligation is I, I cooking. Uh -huh. How do we say that? Remember the structure? I, 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 have. I have. I have to cook. Uh -huh. Ah, okay. I have to cook. Okay. And what do you cook, Yanni? Um, um, chicken, chicken. Chicken, delicious. Okay, perfect. Uh, uh, um, sauce is salsa. Uh -huh. okay. Salsa, uh, uh, sauce, um, Christmas is uh, the uh, salsa navideña. Okay. Okay, Christmas sauce. Christmas, Christmas sauce. sauce. Okay. okay. Very good. Very good. Now, I want you to also. Right, tell me, choose another person, Jani. Choose one of your classmates here. Select one. It's a um, uh, uh, Carla Eugenia. Carla Eugenia, okay. Carla Eugenia, what do you have to do on Christmas? I have work. work. Okay, I have to work. Repeat. I have to work at uh, five o'clock, usually. Until five o'clock? Yes. Why? It's Christmas. And uh, where do you work? My, um, my work is uh, administration. Mm -hmm. And uh, administration, uh, cadena, no sé cómo se dice. How do you say cadena? Uh, it depends. What do you want to say? Cadena de farmacias. Okay, on a pharmacy industry. Pharmacy industry. Pharmacy industry. Ah, okay, very good. Thank you so much, Eugenia. Choose another person, Eugenia. And I... Ay, no, no, no logro ver a todos los compañeros para ver quién está. One more. Uh -huh. um, a Elena Guadalupe Andrade. Okay. So what do you have to do for Christmas, Elena? Tell us a little bit more. What do you have to do for Christmas? I go to the shopping. You have to go shopping? Remember that we're oh. using have to, so I need you to use have to, everyone. I have to go shopping. Repeat. Elena. No la escuché bien, perdón. Okay. You need to use the grammar that we have studied. You need to say, I have to go shopping. I have to go shopping. Okay, thank you, Elena. Now, one more person, uh, Joanna, what do you have to do on Christmas? I have to uh, prepare a dessert for my family. Oh, nice. What kind of dessert? Um, cheesecake. Oof, delicious. Do you buy the cheesecake or do you prepare it? You, you bake the dessert. I prepare. Nice, very good. Thank you okay. so much, Joanna. So remember that every time that we are using a grammar point, right? We have to use it, right? Si, si vemos algo de gramática, lo vamos a usar para hablar. Okay, entonces, lo, Si lo vamos a escribir, si vamos a saberlo escribir, lo vamos a utilizar cuando hablamos. Right? Ese es el propósito. La gramática se aprende para nosotros después hablar. Right? Si no, no la vamos a utilizar bien. Y no vamos a hablar bien. Entonces vamos a utilizar la gramática y la vamos a practicar. Vamos a escribirla, pero la vamos a hablar. ¿Ok? So, they both go hand in hand. So, let's do that. Now, let's go ahead and continue. We're going to do some... Grammar point right now as well, right? Just give me a moment.
we're going to use right now because this is something that you have seen before, right? So I'm going to work with you with a topic that everyone knows here. Then we are going to continue with the exercises from the book, that's fine. Now, this topic is can and can't. Listen to this, can, can, can't, right? Pronunciation changes. So let's go ahead and work with it right now. Just give me a moment. Can you see the white screen right now? Yes? Yes. Yes, yeah, miss. Okay, very good, very good, very good, very good. Now I'm gonna show you right now also the function that we're going to use for can and can't. Now, when we're using this, right, can, it, we're going to use it, sometimes we use it for abilities. For example, I can speak English, but I can't speak French. That's an ability. That's something I can do. For example, in my case, I can't drive. I can't drive a car, right? But I can walk to work. So that's ability. However, today for the functions of can and can't, right? This has also another ability, right? We, found, we use can or can, right? To describe possibilities. To describe possibility. That's another use. So a possibility, right? It's something that may or may not be true, right? So that's when we use it. Let me go ahead and help you out with this. Now, when we're working with can for possibility, right? We use it, we're gonna put it here. Let me show you this example, right? One moment. Emerson, could you be so kind and read this description for me? We use. Okay, teacher. We use can to express possibility of the question possibilities. We can go to Rome and John because both, both of the us have a week of work. It is possible for us to go to Rome because we don't make it to work in John. Exactly, very good. So pretty much, right? When we're using can or can't for possibility, right? It means that something may happen or not. That's the first thing. So they are going to go to Rome or they can go to Rome because they have the same weekends off. So they don't work. So it is possible to do it. It's not an ability, it's a possibility. Now, do you see the difference between possibility and ability? Before in level three or two, I guess, you saw can for ability, right? Now this is can for possibility, right? Now, do you understand that part? Yes, no? Yeah, yes. Miss. yes, okay, let me show you another example, right? Joanna, could you do me a favor and read this example? Uh, well, how can, well, how can you be on a life if you buy so much chocolate? I don't think it's possible that you are on a diet because you still buy lots of chocolate. Exactly, very good right? It's not possible, right? For example, next week, my grandmother has an, a medical appointment in the hospital, but I can't go 
with her. Right? Why? Because I have to work, right? So it is not possible for me to go there, right? So in that case, right, we're going to, I can go, right? Not for an ability, but as a possibility, right? Something that may happen or not. Now, do you understand this part? Do you have a question right now? I need you to tell me if you have questions. Mm -hmm. Do you understand these examples? Yes, miss. Yes? Yes. Okay, perfect. Yes. Perfect, perfect, perfect. So let me just go ahead and highlight this. Use can, right? To express possibility or to question possibilities, right? So this is what we're looking for. This is, this is something that is unfair from the example, right? This is unfair from the example. So I want you to please pay attention. Now, regarding a structure, right, of the, <clears throat> of can and can't, pretty much the structure is going to be the same, right? Regarding a structure, we don't have to worry. Why? Because it's the same that we already know for can or can't. Now, oops, sorry. There we are. If we have an affirmative form, right, with can or can't, if we have affirmative, right, let's make an example for can for possibilities, right? What could be an example here? Sorry. Who can think of an example? Mm -hmm. I can swim. That's ability. That's an ability. Ability. Okay. Mm -hmm. I need you to think of can't for possibilities. Can you help me? Can you help me? Very good. That's a very, very good example, right? So we're gonna put, and that's a question. We're question a possibility. Can you help me? Right? Can you help me? Yes, I can, right? It is possible for the other person to help you with your task. Right, excellent, right? Now, how can we make an example of a negative? Negative. With negative, we use this form, can't. But we're going to make a stressed, and they say can't, 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 right? We sound it at the end, can't. So now, what would be an example? What if I put here, for example, I can't buy a new car. Why is this a possibility and not an ability? I can't buy a new car. Why is this a possibility? Buy. Yes, but then? Buy. Buy is the verb, very good. Buy is the verb, but why is it a possibility? Right now, I need you to, to, to think, I will say this in Spanish, okay? Desde este módulo en adelante, ustedes tienen que cuestionarse ustedes solos por qué están aprendiendo una forma gramatical, okay? Porque si no, vamos a ir aprendiendo y a todos nos pasa al inicio 
que aprendemos como, como que fuéramos pericos. O sea, solo repetimos lo que nos dicen y estuvo. Aquí vamos a tener que saber por qué lo estamos utilizando de esa forma. Y si yo estoy usando esto, ¿por qué lo estoy usando así? Si yo uso este verbo, yo tengo que entender por qué lo estoy usando acá. Acá ya el verbo can't ya no es ability. Por eso el ejemplo del compañero está bien cuando decimos I can't swim. Pero es una habilidad, no es una posibilidad. Right? So why am I saying here I can't buy a new car? What is the possibility? What is the explanation to my sentence? Why am I saying this? Yes, Bernardo? Uh, maybe because right now you don't have the money, but the next month you will have it. Excellent. That's correct. That's correct. That's the possibility, right? Maybe I don't have the money right now. Maybe I am going to use the money for something else. Maybe I will have money next month. We don't know, right? But my pos within my possibilities, I can't buy a new car, right? Very good. That's what we need to understand when it comes to English. Now, this one is also a question. Remember, the structure is exactly the same. What is going to change, right? What is going to change is the meaning, right? It's the meaning of these sentences. Right? That's what we're going to do. Now, we're going to make sure here, right, that we also understand that the pronunciation is important, right? When we say can and can't, right? Uh, Johnny, can you repeat the, the affirmative form? Can, can. Can. Okay, now negative, can't. Can't. Exactly. That's the t sound that you need to give at the end, right? To make sure that someone will understand. If it is too difficult for you, right? You say, no teacher, I'm sorry. I don't know the difference. You're going to say this. Cannot. 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 Emerson repeat, cannot. Cannot. Exactly, right? Say, no, too difficult, can't, can't, no, too difficult. You can say cannot, right? We have options right now. We have options to work with this. Now, do you have questions about this right now? No? No questions. Okay. Now, besides these structures that we have right now here, right, we also have WH questions. Right? With WH questions, remember that what we're going to do is that we're going to use the words, right? Why, where, how, which, etc., right? To make our examples, right? So we can start with one of those words to make a questions, right? Now, we can ask here, yes? Good evening, teacher. Good evening. Okay, so now what are the questions that the WH words that we can use? Where, why, how, right? It will depend, right, on the purpose of the question, right? The purpose of the question. Now we cannot actually start with why, which is very common. Why can Peter? go to the party. 
why can't this is negative why can't peter go to the party oh he can't go because he's sick right we can make a negative question right with no problem here remember these kind of negative questions this is a surprise right like, why can can't peter go to the party oh because he's sick so do you understand this structure right now? Yes or no? Yes, teacher. Okay. Thank you, Joanna. So Joanna says, yes, I guess the other ones with your faces, I would say yes, and I will move on, right, with the other activities. Right. Remember, if you don't answer, I will assume that you understand. Right now, let us continue here. Can you see my computer right now? Yes, miss. Yes, okay, let me see something. Okay, there we are. Now, here, right, it says how to use scan for information or possibility. We have here for information is pretty much when you need, like the question that Janice said, can you help me, right? It's the same as possibility. So it's, it's not much of a change here, right? Now we have examples. Here we have examples. When we say information, it's because we are using WH questions. We need more, right? We say, oh, can, can Eduardo stack all the new products? Yes, he can. No, he can't. But then when we use a WH question, we need more information, right? Where can Eduardo stack all the new products? Oh, he can stack all the new products in the warehouse, right? Or he can stack all the new products in the lobby with the pen, right? So that's what we say, information, right? And then we say possibility, right? Here, if you see, we start with can. Here, we start with a WH word, right? Now, Tatiana, can you read the one of the example, one, sent, one question here, and Vladimir, read one question from possibility. Yes. Yes. When can I stack all the new products? Okay. Tatiana? Where can she stay, stack all the new products? Okay. Uh, Vladimir, you're going to read possibility, the other option. Uh, okay. Another example. No. You are going to read the other the other side. But it says possibility. Read one example from here. The same example in the look at the screen. Look at the Again. screen. Look at the screen. Here. I need you to read one example from here, please. Can, 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 can you start them in your back room? Read, can, can, I don't understand teacher. Read, do you, read. Do you know this verb? Read. Read, read. Okay, what is the Get meaning it. of that verb? Uh, uh -huh, Joanna, what is the meaning of this verb? Meaning. Leer. Leer, uh -huh. Okay, so I need you to read. Uh -huh. What I mean, what I'm putting here. Look at the screen. Can. 
can. Sí. Can for information uh, in this dialogue. Look at the screen. Necesito que vea la pantalla lo que yo le estoy señalando. Claro, where y when. Mire lo que le estoy señalando acá. Mire el lapicito azul. Ah, perdón, perdón. Eso no lo había visto. Sí, excuse me. Es que ah. creo que va manejando, teacher. <risa> ya me parqué. Eh, can, can I stock? Can I you stock all the new products? Okay. Can you stock all the new products? Excuse me. Okay. Thank you, Vladimir. Sorry. Thank you so much. No, it's okay. It's okay. Let's put this right here. All right now we're going to continue with some of the examples. We have here exercise number five, okay? In exercise number five, I need you to please help me with the instruction. Imelda, can you read the instruction? Read the polling statement to write a question about it. Very good, to write questions about it, excellent. So, we are going to read this part right now. Look at this. You can store them in the back room, right? You can store them in the back room. That's the answer. But for the answer, we must have a question before, right? So look at the answer. What do you think is the possible question that we can make? Can you store them in the back room? Okay, close, close. In that case, the answer will be like this, right? Can you store them in the back room? Yes, I can. That's it, right? It's a yes, no answer. But our answer is information, right? It says, you can store them in the back room. Hmm. So based on that, am I asking a question of a person, reason, place, time? What am I asking here? Do you remember the question, the WH questions in level one? Right? It's the same. When do we use them? Says, why, who? Why, okay. But why? here, when we use why, Vladimir, we don't have because. And when we ask why, because, right? We give a reason. And the answer, it's not reason. What is this answer? Yes, Wendy? Um, the question uh, should be, where can I store, when can I store them? Exactly. Where can I, can I store them? Where can I store them? Exactly, very good. Now, what we're going to put here, right? And the answer that we're looking for, in the back room. Where? In the back room, right? That is connected. We're giving a place. Very good, Wendy, very good, Vladimir. Thank you so much, right? Thank you, so we have where a place and then we answer with a place. I cannot say, where can I store them? My mom is Maria. No, right? That doesn't make sense. So your answer needs to match the question, right? Now, can you try to do the other ones? Right, do number two, three, four, five. There are some of them that they are just no questions. So pay attention to the answer, right? Let's start individually. Let's do them right now. While you do that, I will call the attendance. So please pay attention. I will go here. 
Carlos Vladimir Rodríguez Díaz. Present, present. Thank you. Daisy Elizabeth Recinos Álvarez. Present, teacher. Thank you. Eduardo Franco Núñez. Present. Elena Guadalupe Andrade Reyes. Present. Emerson Ulises Monroy Calix. Present, miss. Francisco Sánchez López. Present. Jacqueline eh, Imelda Xiomara Pineda Castro. Present. Jacqueline Vanessa Parrilla García. Joana Lisbeth Eunice Alfaro de Canales. Present teacher. José Alexander Hernández Carvajal. José Alexander. Carla Eugenia Hernández Sotelo. Present teacher. José Bernardo López Montes. Present teacher. Carol Elizabeth Escalante Enríquez. Present. Luis Javier Castillo. Present. Manuel Alfredo Hernández Ventura. Present. Oscar Noé Magaña Martínez. Present teacher. Sara Vigail López Portillo. Present teacher. Tatiana Ivón Torres de Beltrán. Present, Miss. Wendy Marlene Martínez Sánchez. Present. Yanira del Carmen Gutiérrez. Present. Pablo Adalberto Abrego Vázquez. Present. Ok. ¿Los menciona a todos? ¿Sí? Yes, ok. So let's continue. Did you finish with the exercise? Did you finish? No? No. Okay.
Let me know when you finish or if you have questions. Let me know when you finish, please, so we can start checking the answers. Are you ready? ready? Carla? Not yet? Yes, it. Okay. What about the others? Not yet? I guess that's a no. Okay, let's wait two more minutes and then we move to the next activity.
Stop. Yes. Just give me five. Just one minute left. Okay, let's check right here. Number two, Carla Eugenia, what do you have? Can she sing the form? Very good. Thank you. Now, Carla, we're going to sing like la, 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 or sign the form. Sing, sing. Listen, are we going to sing like la 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 or uh -huh. sign Sorry. the form? Yo entiendo sing the la 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 la. Mm -mm. We're going to sign. Like when we do this, we take a piece of paper, right? And we do garabatos, right? We sign, sign, sign. For example, if you tell me, Sylvia, can you sign um, this exercise? Oh yes, I will sign it, right? So I sign, this is a signature. Okay? So I sign it. So repeat, can she sign the form? Can, can she sign the form? Okay, very good. And sing, sing. Sing is when you have like Shakira, Beyonce, right? Those are singers, right? They sing songs. Uh, Joanna, do you have number three? Thank you, Carla. Here, uh, uh, como digo? You uh, I use a uh, why question. Uh huh. Or only can. Can. Okay. What well, What is the question that you have? Eh, si tenía que usar eh, la W question siempre. No. And sometimes you you don't have to because, for example, in this ex in number two, the answer uh -huh. is. Yes. So is Entonces, is can can we move all the television? Okay, can we move all the televisions? No, we can. Okay, it says no, we can't. We can't, we can't. Move all the televisions now. Okay. Imagine Joanna, everyone else. Pay attention, pay attention. Joanna, imagine that you are ha we are having this conversation, right? Or you're having the conversation with someone else. You and I are movers and someone is asking us that question. Are we going to ask that question ourselves? Like we are in a, in a monologue or is someone else asking us the question? For example, here, here I have Joanna, I have Sylvia, I have Jani. Here I have other person. Can we move 
all the televisions? No, we can't. Okay. Right? So okay. are we going to use can we or can you in the question? Can you? Can you? Exactly. Exactly. It's a conversation. Very good. It's like saying, can I go to the party? Yes, I can. All right? Yes. Okay. Very good. Thank you, Wendy. Thank you, Joanna. Now, Wendy, now that you have your microphone open, can you help us with number four, please? Four uh, is who can pile, pile up the boxes tomorrow? Who can pile up at boxes tomorrow? Okay, this is one option. Very good, right? Who can pile up the boxes tomorrow? They can pile up the boxes tomorrow. Right? That's one option. What's the other option? Thank you so much, Wendy. What's the other option? When, when can they pile up the boxes? When can they, can they pile up the boxes? The answer is tomorrow, right? Very good. So here, right, we use who. This is our purpose. Oops, sorry. This is our purpose. So we go here and we say who, they. But when we say here, when, right? When, tomorrow, right? So very good. Thank you so much for the two options. We have two options. Number five, uh, let's see Bernardo. Where can I store 90 cars? Okay, where can I store the 90 cars? Oh my God. Right, where can I store the 90 cars? You can store the 90 cars on a warehouse. And number six, Carol. Again? Can you give information of the product? Okay. Can you give information of the product? Okay. Now, there is one word that is missing there. What's the word that is missing? Me. Me, exactly. Very good. And we're going with this conversation like this, right? Hello, right? Can you give me information of the product? Yes, I can. I can give you information of the product, right? So that direct object is important, right? Thank you, Carol. Thank you, Bernardo. Do you guys understand these questions? Do you have questions about this exercise? Vocabulary, uh, pronunciation, grammar, function. No questions. Are you sure? No. Okay, no questions. Well, let's question. And start now then. We're going to do right now something related to this topic. We're going to practice our speaking. This is grammar, we made examples. Very good, I like that. But I want you to also practice. Do you remember the activity when we had a student A and a student B? Do you remember that activity? We work in pairs. 
we're going to do something similar right now. Now, in that activity, today, we're going to do something a little bit different, okay? Now, I'm going to send you right now the options. Give me a moment. I'm sending to you right now the options for student A. Grab a student A. And I'm going to send you the options for student B. One second. Did you receive the two options right now? Yes. Do you receive the two options in in WhatsApp? Yes, yes teacher. Yes, yes, teacher. yes, teacher. Okay, wonderful. Wonderful. Now, what are we going to do in this moment? You have there, right, in your WhatsApp, sec. You have this exercise with can and can't. Now, if you're working in Paris, I am right now, I am working with Eduardo, okay? Eduardo is going to be letter A, a student A. I am a student B, okay? Now, I am a student B, so I am going to select four questions, okay? for questions that I'm going to ask Eduardo. So Eduardo, I am going to ask you question number three. I'm going to ask you question five, question six, and question uh, nine. Four information questions, right? Now, Eduardo is going to have some time in the group to think about the answers. Right, so he can write the answers and then tell me the answers, right? So, sorry, sorry, teacher. Can, can you repeat the number, please? No, uh, we're just explaining what we're going to do. You don't have to answer right okay, now. Okay, okay. You don't have to answer. We're gonna explain the, the dynamic of the group. So now I gave the numbers to the four questions to Eduardo, right? Now he's going to tell me, okay, Silvia, these are my four questions. He, he, is going to give me four questions, okay? Now, I am going to uh, look at the questions, answer the questions, and then give him the answers to him, right? So today, you're going to speak, but you are going to write as well. Is that clear? Kind of? Okay, now, let's say, all of you right now, everyone, 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 you are a student B, okay? I am a student A. So everyone, listen to me, listen. Mm, I will give you the question. Oh, question number three. What songs can you sing? This is for everyone. What songs can you sing? Write the answer in the chat. What songs can you sing? That's, I need information right now. What songs can you sing? Now, you, I gave you one question. Now, you as a group, right? Let's choose a representative from the group. Pablo Alberto. You are going to represent all the group and you're going to give me one question. Give me one question, Pablo. Mm -hmm. 
Okay, give me one question. Tell me, okay, see that. What one. can you do that most people can do? Okay. What can you do that most people can't do? Mm, good question. Okay. Thank you. Thank you, student B. Now I'm going to answer here, right? I don't see the answers for your question. You have question number three. When I answer question number one right now, I. Miss, give me a moment. Uh, uh. Okay, that's my answer for letter B. What's your answer? I, I gave you a question, what's your answer? I don't see your answers. Tatiana? Ah, eh, quería preguntar eh, si estaba bien la, la respuesta. I can sing un día te veré. OK. I can sing un día te veré. OK, very good. Thank you so much. Yes, that's perfect. I have my answer there, right? One thing. I can do that most people can't do is to drink five cups of coffee every day. Yes, say so. Okay. So only Tatiana answer. What about the others? I can sing, puede imaginarme. Okay, very good. Eduardo, what is your answer? Pablo, Jose, Vladimir, Jani, Joanna, your answer. No, I can't sing any song, okay? Well, in that case, we don't answer with not. You say, well, I can't sing any song, right? You don't answer with no, because it's not a just no question, right? But everything else is perfect. Todo lo demás que se escribió, perfecto, right? I can sing your beautiful by James Blunt. By James Blunt. Yes. Me too, Joanna. I can sing your beautiful. Very good. Your beautiful extra. Okay, excellent. What about you, Manuel? Oscar Noé, Wendy, Luis Javier, Elena. What are your answers? Johnny, Franco, Eugenia. Let's see. I can sing. I can repair plans. Uh, Vladimir, no, that's not my question. Mm -mm. That's not my question. Carol, no. Remember, I can sing No Basta with Franco Vita. Very good. I can't sing anything. Remember that you cannot answer with no. No puedes responder con no. Al inicio, porque no es una just no question. It's an information question. Right? Imagine that I say this like, uh, what is your name? No. I live in La Paz. It doesn't make sense, right? The question is, what is your name? So we want information. No, I can't sing, uh-huh. I can't sing every song, but not, I'm not a good singer. Ha, <laughs> me too. Very good. So that's what you're going to do right now with I Can Sing Hotel California. Oh, beautiful song. I can sing Atrévete. 
Iris of Goo Goo Dolls. That's a nice one. That's a very oldie but goodie. Okay, so what are you going to do in this moment? In this moment, you're going to go to work in groups, okay? Now, usually you will be in pairs, but I will put you in groups of three. I just want to make one question and I will be very clear about this. ¿Quiénes están solo de oyentes? Porque la vez pasada hubieron varios grupos que se quedaron como tres compañeritas que ya solitas estaban y nadie les respondía. ¿Quiénes están solo de oyentes? Para así incluirlos de oyentes con otros compañeros. Levanten la mano o escriban en el chat para saber, por favor. Para no dejar a nadie que esté perdiendo el tiempo el solito ahí sin hacer nada. Nadie, entonces me doy por enterada que todos van a participar. Daisy, usted está solo de oyente. Yes, teacher. Javier y Elena. Uh -huh. Ok, perfecto. Daisy, Javier, Elena y Francisco. Muy bien. Tienen que decirme, ok. I can't sing, I can only imagine. Mercy. Oh. Okay, we're gonna leave Elena. Okay, give me a moment. Okay, I think we're fine now. Okay, let's go. Let's get to practice. You have the questions in the chat, right? So you can use them. Are you ready? I hope so. Let's go. Let's go, let's go, let's go. We only have 10 to 15 minutes for this activity and we come back. Okay. Los que estamos de oyentes, nos unimos a los grupos como oyentes, por favor. Es importante que practiquen su listening a través de esta actividad. Unámonos, unámonos. Así oímos a nuestros compañeritos. Vamos, vamos, Frank, vamos, Daisy. Di que nos íbamos a preguntar, pero no sé si, si la vamos a escribir, la respuesta. Teacher, just only a question. We just practice, right? You're going to practice, but you're going to also uh, write the answers. Okay. Mm -hmm. so you're going to do both. But you select, for example, only three questions and you mail the three questions. Okay. Mm, voy a agarrar student A. Okay. Uh, number one. Mm -hmm. Cuántas son? Uh, cuatro. Cuatro? Sí. Three. 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 Yes. Oh, okay. 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 Key number <gasps> Number uh, five. Five, five, five. What can you do? One, three, and five. One, three, and five. Okay, can you do two? Okay, April. 
Mr. Mayor. Eh, another question. Remember, mm -hmm. the number two, uh, what can you do to make yourself feel happy? To be. Yes. Repeat. Yes. A student, a student B, number two, what can you do to make yourself feel happy? Sweet, no recuerdo qué es. Eh, bueno, en español creo que significa sí, que lo que puedes hacer, que lo que puedes hacer que te haga sentir feliz. Que te haga sentir feliz. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Que lo que, que lo que usted hace que lo hace sentir feliz. I, I can't sleep every day. You can go to the volcan, volcano. La pampa, el volcán. Entonces, la respuesta sería: You can. You can. Go. No. The pampa. Go. To. You can go to the Pampel Volcan. Go to the Pampel El Volcan. Mm -hmm. Son tres, vea. Son tres, sí. Uh... Can you remember what you dream dreaming about last night? Sería la ocho. Can you remember what you dreamed about last night? No, I can't. Remember what you... No, no se puede, no se puede responder con no al principio. <tose> Last night. I can't. Seri, no, pero aquí en el ejercicio sí decía no, no we can. Se puede. Según la, la pregunta 3 del ejercicio que acabamos de hacer, dice no we can, can, cannot, we cannot move. O sea, o era simple, no we can. No, we cannot. Entonces sería, no, I cannot. No, I can. No, I can remember. Y esa es la respuesta larga. La respuesta uh -huh. larga entonces tendría que ser, este, I can, cannot remember dream about last night. Okay. Bye. Y la tercera. Uh, la diez. In how many language can you say? Hello. I can say hello in, in three home. language. Uh, work. 
Yo puedo comer eso. Solo esa. Oh, only. Mm -hmm. Chicken. Chicken. Only. Mm -hmm. Chicken. Eh. Uy. Then only. Uh -huh. Okay. Um, la le number eight. Uh, Why can't chickens fly? <laughs> okay, so yeah. Mm. Chickens fly. Fly. Eh, eh por los, por los, ay, como ponemos. Huesos. Mones. Mones y huesos. Bones. Ajá. Por los huesos, por las alas. <ríe> eh, the chickens cannot fly. A ver. Vamos a ver. De chicken. Chicken. Chicken and not fly. Um, the chicken will come. Can fly. Can fly by queens. Because they're from me. It's not a uh, chicken, the chicken's uh, sweet tape, sweet tape. <laughs> The chickens cannot fly because their plumage is not, is not sweet tape. And what is the pronunciation? Ah, uh, for it body. Yes. Uh -huh. It's uh huh yes for for oh, this body structure okay eh ahora eh que estudien B uh -huh. um, eh Jenny what king of food can you cook can you of who can you cook? Can you cook? Cook? cook. Uh -huh. What can you is, cook? is um I can um uh, uh, pas, pa, pasta pasta uh, I can cook the pasta other other um um ¿cómo se llama esta? Um, uh, chow mein is pasta 
Eh, esa, mm, sí, lo que pasa es que mm, pasta, pero pasta italiana y pasta de, de los chinos, vea. O sea, ah, okay. son dos tipos, o sea, chao <ríe> de China. Sí, y y el otro sí. Pasta. <ríe> pasta, pasta. Bing. <ríe> Eh, okay. You can Nose. cook beans, <laughs> frijoles. Ajá. <laughs> uh <-huh>. Okay. Eh, <laughs> Uy, no lo escribí bien. <laughs> ah, huevos. I can cook. Eh? I can put um so salad. That's on the salad. Okay. Okay, it's a uh, number number three, there. Yeah. Sí. Yes. What? What kings? What? Another number a uh, number six eight okay number six. Number six is a. Uh, ah. Um, la, la... Okay, so we just finished sharing the answers, the questions that we have. So I would like to listen to some of them, right? So we have questions for A, questions for B, that's okay. But now let's listen to some of you. I would like to start there with Bernardo's group. Bernardo's, what, what do you have? What are the questions that you ask your classmate? In this moment, you're going to just ask the question to one of your classmates and that person is going to answer, okay? That's all what you're going to do. Remember that you have your answer there. You can read your answer in this moment. There's no problem. So let's start, Bernardo. Okay. Who was in your group? Who was with Fernando? With Bernardo? Sorry. Mm -hmm. Who was with Bernardo? Nobody? No perdamos el tiempo. ¿Quién estaba con Bernardo? Apurémonos, por favor. ¿No había nadie con él? Hola, hola. Ok, por favor. We just have two questions of letter A. Perfect. Uh, what can't you do that most people can do? The answer I we I, I can speak in English in English. 
Okay. I can practice grammar and pronunciation. Excellent. Continue, please, this group. And the other one was I can't dance. Okay. Hey. The other one was what can you do to improve your English? Nice. And one of the answer was I can practice more. Perfect. I can practice in the class English. That's correct. Uh, I can put attention in the class. Okay, very good. Very good. You can pay attention. Excellent. Very good. Thank you, this group. Thank you so much. Now, Bernardo, choose another person from this class. Not Imelda, not Manuel. Okay. Uh, uh, Emerson. Emerson's group. Okay. Okay. We chose the letter A. Letter A, okay. Mm -hmm. Who's with Emerson? With Who is with Emerson? Hello, teacher. Ah, okay, Carla, very good. Let's start. Thank you. And um, where is your town or city? Can you eat great restaurant food? You can go to the Pampire Volcano. Can you remember what you dreamed about last night? No, I can't remember <laughs> what dream last night. How many languages can you say hello? I can say hello in three languages. Very good. Okay. okay. Do you have more questions? Yeah. What can I do? do? Most people can do. I cannot ride a bike. Why can't she can fly? <laughs> because they don't have a muscle called a kill or kill. And teacher, I no no sé cómo se pronuncia. Sí, me sigamos que es continue. Okay. Read the answer. Usted le da la respuesta. No se limite. Because that because they don't have a muscle color in kill kill. La number, number four. Where in your town or city? No repetimos, Carla. Okay, no, it's okay. At, at what I what Else can people drive in your country? Ah, sí. People can drive at 15 years old. At 15. Very good. Excellent. Thank you so much. Now, you're going to say muscle. Músculo, muscle. 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 Muscles. Yes. Very good. Choose another person, Emerson. Okay, choose a... Miss Joanna. Joanna, okay. Let's go, Joanna. Okay. Um, la... Listen. <laughs> okay. <laughs> well, okay. uh, what number seven? Uh, what six animal can eat you? 
I can eat fish, uh, chicken, uh, beef only. Number seven, but no. Number seven. Listen to this. What six animals can uh, eat you? Not that you can eat. For example, I, I can eat chicken, but chickens oh. can't eat me <laughs> unless no gobiernan los pollos un día y no Is that? What six animals can eat you? For example, a puma, right? A puma, a tiger can eat, right? But a chicken? Uh -huh. Excuse me, okay. teacher. <laughs> you read the other way around. Okay, go with the other questions. Don't worry, don't worry. Okay. Um, number nine, why can chickens fly? Because, because chicken uh, can't fly for, uh, fly for body street, it's true. Okay. Okay. Let me think. Um, and let it be, uh, let it be uh, number five is what is another thing you can do to improve your English? Um, I can watch English uh, videos. Yes, that's right. Very good, you finish? Um, yes, teacher. Okay. <laughs> now, let's see, Joanna, choose another person. Um, uh, Vladimir. Vladimir, Vladimir, who was in hello, your hello. Hello. Hola. Hello. I have a problem with my internet in my work. Okay, okay. ¿Quién trabaja con Vladimir? Mi Franco y... Tatiana. Okay. Thank you, Vladimir. Eduardo y Tatiana la van a representar. Sorry. Uh, thank you, thank you. Uh, huh? Number one, what language can you speak? I can speak Spanish, only, only in, Spanish. In English right now, you're speaking in English. Yes. Okay. Yeah, <laughs> so, so. But you are. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Eh, yo no, yo igual no las anoté aquí en el camino, las voy a ir armando. Si gusta, me dice usted la otra. Eh, eh. Okay. Eh, what song can you sing? What song can you sing? I can't sing. I can't. Okay. Eh, eh, what can you do? What can you do to improve your English? I can do to improve my English in uh, music. I can listen to music. Repeat. I can listen to music. Yeah. I can read English book. That's correct. <laughs> hey. Um, uh, in how many language can you say hello? What is this? Hola, hello. No. Ah, la última. Hola. No, la, la era la diez, ¿verdad? Number ten, yes. Okay. Mm -hmm. uh, no, 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 thank you. Uh, I can say thank you in Portuguese. Obrigado. But in how many languages can you say thank you? In how many? Uh, I can say in two languages. Two languages. Two languages. Okay. okay. Very good. Thank you, Tatiana. Thank you, Franco.
Franco, choose another person. I think we only have one group. Right? Let me see. Uh, the group of Sarah Ail. Thank you, Eduardo. Okay. Sara? Hello. Hello. Okay. Can you start, please? Uh, Wendy? Yes. I hear. Yes. Begin you. Yes, ready. Um, uh, what language can you speak? I cannot speak in Spanish and I am learning to speak English. Okay. Um, what song can you sing? I can sign the reason of hot stank. Uh, what can you do to improve your English? I think that I can listen to music and I can watch the movie or I can read phrases in English to improve my English. Um, Sara, uh, what can you do to make yourself feel happy? I feel happy and I sing and dance. <laughs> um, what kinds of food can you cook? Ooh, I can cook many foods including meat, chicken, soft and different ways and typical dishes. Um, um, can you make a song like a bird or an animal? I, yes, I can make the cat and the chicken song. Thank you. Excellent, very good. Thank you so much, Wendy and Sara. Thank you. So did I miss anybody here? Carol, did you already participate? Did you already participate? No. Who was in your group, Carol? Uh, my group was represented by Emerson and Carla. Ah, you didn't participate. Mm -hmm. Okay. Can you ask some questions, Emerson, to Carol, please? Hey, teacher. The letter A. The letter B, sorry. Okay. What can I do the most? Um, what? What can do you make yourself feel happy? Um, I can happy I see the coffee. Right. What kinds of food you can cook? I can the full full code the um pupusa. Okay. Can you make a sound like a bird or an animal? I can make a soul the the I know can I know can the bear or animal. Okay, thank you so much. 
Now, thank you, Emerson. Now we're gonna say how when we we can't do something. No, I can't. I can't. Sound. No, I can't. We always follow the same structure, okay? When we give answers, we use subject, verb, complement. Subject, verb, complement. That's the structure that we will use all the time, okay? Once you have mastered subject, verb, complement, we're going to add other details to your examples, right? First, that's your mental plana, right? Subject, verb, complement, subject, verb, complement, subject, right? If your sentence doesn't have a subject, a excepción de los imperativos, si su oración no tiene sujeto, está mal. Si su oración no tiene verbo, está mal. Si su pregunta no, tiene, si su pregunta no empieza con auxiliar, está mal. Right? Eso tiene que, aquí, tiene que andar. Right? Very good. Now, we are going to stop right there for a moment. Right? I'm going to call the attendance. Let's see here. One moment. Hello, Vladimir Rodriguez Diaz. Present teacher. Casey Elizabeth Recino Alvarez. Eduardo Franco Núñez. Present teacher. Elena Guadalupe Andrade Reyes. Present. Emerson Ulises Monroy Calix. Francisco Sánchez López. Present. Present. Imelda Xiomara Pineda Castro. I am here, teacher. Jacqueline Vanessa Parrilla Garcia. Joana Lisbeth Eunice Alfaro de Canales. Jose Alexander Hernández. Present uh -huh. Jose Alexander. No. Okay. Jose Bernardo López Montes. Present teacher. Carla Eugenia Hernández Sotelo. Present teacher. Carol Elizabeth San Carlos Carol Elizabeth Escalante Enríquez. Present. Luis Javier Castillo. Present. Manuel Alfredo Hernández Ventura. Present. Oscar Noé Magaña. Present. Sara Gavig Sara Vigail López Portillo. Present teacher. Tatiana Ivonne Torres de Beltrán. Present Miss. Wendy Marlene Martínez Sánchez. Present. Yanira del Carmen Gutiérrez. Present. Pablo Alberto Abrego Vázquez. Present. Okay, wonderful. Now we're gonna continue here and we are going to do the last activity for today. This is going to be on our book on page 15, 15. And we are going to look at exercise number two. Right, in exercise number two, we have an, a shipping label. A shipping label, it's something, for example, this is a product. This is something, right, that I bought from Amazon, right? I bought this from Amazon. So when I bought this from Amazon, right, they sent it with the information about the product, right? So this is the shipping label. Right. Amazon is located where? In the United States, right? Amazon is in the United States and I am in El Salvador. So to send the package, to send the package from the United States to El Salvador, right? You need to have a shipping label. The shipping label has my information and the information from Amazon, right? So you need to make sure that you have, is here it should say from Amazon, right? Made in the US to La Paz, Zacatecoluca, El Salvador, right? So you should have two pieces of information. The tracking number, right? The tracking number is the one that we're going to use to check online. Right. For example, when you buy something in Amazon, it is oh my package is coming to El Salvador. It's in Mexico. Now it's in Guatemala. Now it's in in the in customs. Right. So oh now it's in my in my house. Right. That is the tracking number. Here in El Salvador, we use it for Correo del Salvador. 
right? You also have tracking numbers, right? Yes. Right? We have tracking numbers there. We have tracking numbers for DHL, Urbano Express, even if someone says, for example, I don't live in San Salvador and I buy a lot of things from online stores in San Salvador, so they ship things to me, right? So I have a track, tracking number. So I say, oh, my package is in Santiago de Norco. My package is in San Rafael. Oh, it's, now it's in Zacatecoluca, right? So we have the same, right? This is exactly the same. So here, what can we see here in the shipping label, right? We see here, first, I want you to, to look at the parts that we're going to identify, right? Look at this. Here is who sent it. Who sent it? We're going to put here who sent it. We have this company, Travers Inc. 23. This could be a chain, this could be eBay, anything, anywhere, from anywhere from the world, right? Two, right, is the person who receives the package, the recipient, right? This is Amazon, this is Sylvia, right? I received the package, so I am the recipient, right? This is the number you use to know to know where your package or product is in is regarding location right That's what we have, right? This is the recipient. This is the quantity. For example, the quantity for this is one. It's only one package, right? One. But here, how many packages or products I have? 65, right? So it's quantity, it's amount. You can say amount. Shipment is the, it could be the chip, it could be the airplane, right? The codes and everything else, right? So look at this information on your books. Based on this information, you're going to answer these four questions, right? Joanna, can you read question one? Emerson, question two. Eugenia, question three. Jani, question four. Let's start. Okay, thank you. And number one, what is the shipping address? Number two, what is the mailing address? Number three, how many units are in the packets? Number four, what is the manufacturing date? Excellent, very good. So that's what we're going to start right now, right? We are going to work here right, and answer these four questions based on this, right? Let's do it. You have this on your book. This is on page 15. Let's do this before we continue.
Do you finish? This is easy peasy. We already answered, right? Miss, uh, the shipping address is literal wrong. Give me, give me a moment. Give me a moment. Uh, uh, uh. We're going to share together, okay? We're going to share together. <laughs> You're going to be number one. Okay. Yes. Okay, let me know the others. <clears throat> Tomorrow I will bring to you like two, I think I have two or three uh, real shipping labels. So you will gonna see them together. Yes, Danny. Teacher, este, I have a question. Yes. It's a, um, in quantity. Eh, quantity. Quantity. Quantity is, is a, ¿cómo se llama? The, the, the numbers. Eh, um, veo que usted colocó amount, pero amount entiendo que es de valor, ¿verdad? Valor mm. en money. The amount, the amount of art. The amount of articles, right, is the quantity. For example, this one is just one, right? But mm -hmm. sometimes we have more, like there in the shipping, we have how many? We have 65, so it's a big amount. Okay. It's a big amount. Okay, thank you. What is this anyways? You're welcome. Oh. Okay. Teacher, I have a question. Question. What is, what is the pronunciation net WT uh, 120 libras label? No sé qué. Where is, oh, 120 pounds. The pronunciation of this is pounds. And the meaning in Spanish is translated to libras pounds, but the abbreviation in English is LB. La abbreviation de pounds es la misma que en español. Pounds, 120 okay. pounds. Pounds, the pronunciation in net, YT. Weight, weight, net weight, weight. Wave, net wave. Thank you, Javier. Any other Thank question? You. No? Okay. Now, 
I would like to know the answers here. What is the shipping address? Can you tell me what's the shipping address? Where do I have to send? I am, I am Travers Inc. So where do I have to send these this packages? The 65 packages, where do I have to send them? What is the shipping address? Little um, Row. Yes, Carla? Little Row and 34, La Unión El Salvador. Very good, La Unión El Salvador, excellent. So, Tatiana, what is the mailing address? Mailing address, so what is my address? I am Travers Inc, so what is my address, Tatiana? Tatiana. Hello, Miss. Hello. Uh, my address. My address is. No, what is my address? What is the mailing address? Um, I don't know. <laughs> Question number two, Tatiana. Um, oh. Sorry, teacher. No? Okay. What is the mailing address, guys? Not here. Carol, what is the mailing address? Um, okay, listen to me. Pay attention. Okay? No se enfrasquen en que no entienden porque... Van a entender, okay? No tienen que entender todo. Tienen que entender un poquito. Right, so listen to me. The shipping address, this, these 65 units are for Carla, right? Her address, the shipping address is literal row number 34, La Unión El Salvador. I am Travers Inc. I am the mailing address. Okay, what is the mailing address, Carol? I am sending the packages to Carla. No, mailing address. Do you remember level one in introduce yourself? Hello, my name is, my mailing address is. is mailing address. Mailing address is Glen Y San Carlos TA 0573. Exactly. That is the mailing address. Is the place where I send to the recipient to Carla. Right? That is the mailing address. And tomorrow we're going to follow, we're going to continue with the others. Porque me pasé un minuto y nos van a decir de todo. Okay. Vamos a despedirnos. Please have a beautiful rest of the night. I will see you guys tomorrow. But end today is the day for Elena Guadalupe Andrade Reyes. Right? I will see you guys uh, tomorrow. Bye bye. Mañana les traigo otros late. Chippy late. Bye. 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 Bye, teacher. Bye, teacher. Bye. 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 Bye, guys. Bye-bye, teacher. Bye-bye. <laughs>